hi guys welcome to the channel as you can see from the title of this video this is my first time traveling since the pandemic and this is also my first travel vlog on this channel so this is a pretty big deal because number one i've not traveled for two whole years and number two this is my first time going to scotland ever since i last been there for like over 10 years our journey took 17 hours i think so and it was consisting of two transits from kuala lumpur to singapore and from singapore to amsterdam before we reached our final destination glasgow so it was a long and tiring flight the flight food was not great but since the flight started at night so i basically spent most of my time sleeping and watching movies i discovered my new favorite comfort movie which is cruella it's just such an amazing movie you guys should just really watch it if you haven't and soon we arrived amsterdam airport also known as Schif schiphol well i can't pronounce it because i'm not dutch but yeah, this airport is really nice and I haven't been here in years. And we also got some Starbucks. Oh my gosh, the gate was really far away. It was on opposite sides. I just don't know why they put us such, at such a far away gate. So the flight took about 1 hour 30 minutes. And it was a pretty turbulent flight to Glasgow because Glasgow is really windy. Well, Scotland overall is really windy and at the time there was a, some kind of storm i think it was called storm malik at the time and it was happening and they gave us a sandwich and this sandwich was way better compared to all the meals they had given us during the last 16 hours of the flight so for long flights i don't think i'll be flying with this airline again one hour and 30 minutes later i arrived at glasgow airport and this marks day one of my stay in scotland I headed to the hotel with my family via the airport taxi and we immediately performed our mandatory self-test lateral flow kits. We even had to quarantine for a few hours while waiting for the result and of course we were negative and a few hours later we headed outside to buy some necessities and have dinner. Look at that delicious looking burger. happened in day two because it was pretty simple we went to the city center to explore and shop for some stuff and clothes food and whatsoever and later in the evening we did some grocery shopping for our accommodation because we were cooking i did some assignments at night because what is university without assignments honestly Moving on to day 4, we drove from Glasgow to Edinburgh, it took us around 1 hour minus our stop at Livingston shopping outlet because all we did was shopping so unfortunately I did not record anything. I dropped by at the Surgeons Hall Museum while I was in Edinburgh which 
I was looking forward to go because I am a medical student after all and I was curious to know more about surgery. Uh, the entrance fee was £8.50 but I got the student's price which is £4.50. So overall it was a very interesting experience. I highly recommend it to all med students and anyone studying or working or interested in the healthcare field. Five, I continued my adventures in Edinburgh so at this place there's a lot of souvenir shops so if you want to buy cashmere or any keychains you should definitely come here I visited the Edinburgh castle but sadly I didn't enter because we had other plans for the day the surrounding view around the castle was really pretty there was even a random red van hanging out here hours later we walked to the National Museum of Scotland. Now the entrance for this museum is completely free and this museum is huge so if you ever come to Edinburgh you definitely should visit this museum. At the time I visited it was one hour and a half left till they closed so I couldn't cover every part of the museum. So in conclusion, if you like museums and you're planning to come to Edinburgh, at least give yourself two hours to explore this museum because there's a lot to see here. Hello, so it's day 7 and I decided to visit the Kelvin Groove Art Gallery and Museum in Glasgow. So this is another beautiful museum in the UK. It consists of two floors, the ground floor and the first floor. Here you can explore a lot of things such as history of Glasgow, the ancient Egypt, art, wildlife and so many other things. The most peculiar part of this museum I think would be the floating heads that all show different emotions and most people would take pictures here even I did and put it on my Instagram National Geographic documentary 
we're documenting some little dookies minding their own business as they should <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't record much towards day 9 and day 10 because all I did was shopping and I was packing ready to go home. Overall, I had a really fun time in Scotland and I'd definitely come here again if I have the chance in the future. If you made it to the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and do give a like and subscribe to this channel. Have a nice day. Goodbye.